What's up everybody, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I will be showing you how to make your first game on Scratch, so let's get started. If you're completely new to Scratch, then this tutorial is for you. First thing you want to do is you want to go to variables, make a new variable, call it score, make sure it's for all sprites. Next variable you want to make is going to be called worldwide high score. Make sure you click cloud variable, store it on server. Next you want to go make a variable. And call this one delete question mark and those are the variables you will need to make for this project now let's get on to some coding go to events one group that I clicked motion go to x0 y0 variables set change this to score to zero now go to looks set size drag this out change this to 200 and then that's all you have to do now if we click on the green flag as you can see our cat is now bigger now we're going to make it so if the mouse hovers over the cat, the cat will get bigger and if we take it away, it will be smaller. So for that, go to events, one game so I clicked, control, if, else, block, drag it forever, put that around there, drag that on here, and go to sensing. If touching mouse pointer, then looks, set size to 220, else, set size to 200. If we test our script, as you can see, if we put our mouse pointer over it, the cat gets bigger. If we take it away, it gets smaller. Next, we're gonna make it so that when you click it, a score gets added. So go to events, when the sprite clicked, variables, change, change this to score by one. Now what you wanna do is, is go into control, wait until, drag out there, go to operators, not, and then go to sensing, mouse down. As you can see, if we test our script, if I click on the cat now, I get score, and if I click the green flag, it resets. Now we need to make the worldwide high score. So for that, go into events, one green flag clicked, forever if, drag that like that, put that on the one green flag clicked, go to operators, grab this block right here, put it right there, go to variables, if score is greater than worldwide high score, then set worldwide high score, the score and now if we test that we click the new flag our score is 2 the worldwide high score is 2 let's make it go all the way up to 10 and if we restart the project the worldwide high score doesn't reset but our own score does next thing you want to do is click on backdrops go to backdrops click on the text tool click on fill drag this all the way down in black and you can write scratch clicker game or whatever you want up here for now i'm going to put scratch clicker game once you're done, just click away and this whole menu will pop up of options that you can do with your text. Just go to this one right here and make it big. If it goes off, that's okay. Now resize it so it's at the top of the page. So these lines show what is going to be in the game. So, so this is over the lines. So if I make it smaller and I put it right around here, I think that looks good. And now what we need to do is we need to grab the line tool, click on that, change this to brightness, put the brightness at 15 then hold shift and, and at the top of the page draw a line just like that now your backdrop should look like this if you want to be fancy and add a score and roll the wide high score at the bottom it's pretty easy just go to text click down here and put score and then put it on the edge on the bottom left edge and then put worldwide high score and position this so a variable could fit on like this now if you're wondering how we turn these into just the numbers double click on score and double click on worldwide high score drag the worldwide high score to right around here now once you've done that as you can see worldwide high score 11 drag the score which is right here now down to here so now if we start the project these don't move and if we click on it they still work and change so for example, the worldwide high score still works. If I restart it, everything still works. Next thing you wanna do is make a new sprite just by going down here and clicking the paint icon and call this number one. Next thing you wanna do is grab the text tool, change your color, I'd say, to a nice yellow. So I'm gonna bring up my brightness to 100. Change this to a yellow or orange. I think I'm gonna go with an orange. And I'm going to say plus one. So this means plus one score, for example, so if I put this right in the middle here, that small, I think this will look good. Now what this is going to be is as you saw in the beginning of the video, is going to be the plus one that appears in the back of the scratch cat and all that. Next what you want to do is click on code and do events, one green flag clicked, looks hide. Now what you want to do is you actually want to go back to the scratch cat and you want to go events, 
When the sprite clicked, go down to control, create clone of, switch this to number one. Then what you want to do is you want to go into control again, go into wait until, operators, not, and then go to sensing, mouse down. Once you have that done, you can go back to number one and you can add control. When I start as a clone, motion, change Y by, make sure you have change Y by three and put that there. Go into control, forever block, put that right there. Looks, go to, change this to back, back layer and put that above the forever block and now put it in. Now I think this might be the hardest script of the entire tutorial so make sure to watch closely. What you want to do is you want to go into control. When I start as a clone, events, control, forever, if else block, drag that inside there and put that on there. Then you want to go to operators, equals, and then what you want to do is you want to change this 50 to delete. Go to variables and put the delete question mark, this thing, into this one. Then go to control, delete this clone. Now for the else, go to motion, go to x, y block, change this to negative 189. Then you want to go to operators, change this value to negative 220, change this one to 210. Now put this pick random block into the x. Now what you want to do is you want to drag this into else. Now what you want to do is you want to drag this into else. Set size to go back into operators, go to pick random, change this to 30, drag this under the show. Next what you want to do is you want to go back into looks and then you go to set, change this to ghost effect to 20. Drag this under the set size to. Now what you want to do is go into control, forever, if, put this inside like that, now what you want to do is you want to go into sensing, drag out a touching color, click on this, now click on the color picker tool. Now this will be highlighted, so move your mouse over the color you chose, or aka the 15. And once you have that gray selected, just like that, click, and as you can see that's the right color, drag this into here. Then go back into control, go to repeat, change this to 4, drag that in there, go to looks, Go to change, change this to ghost, change ghost effect by 25. Go back into control. Now grab uh, delete this clone and put this under the repeat for, not outside the if block. I just realized I actually changed this to brightness. Make sure it's on ghost. Now what you wanna do is you wanna drag this block under the side ghost effect. As you can see, now if we start up our game and we start clicking the cat, all these ones appear. And when they touch this little gray line up here, they disappear and they delete. Next thing we're going to do is add a little detail. So go to make a new sprite, paint, go to square tool, change the fill to brightness 100, saturation 0, outline, change it to brightness 0, and make the outline 5. Now what you want to do is you want to hold shift and draw a perfect square. And if you think this outline is too small, for example I do, you can change it to 10 or 15. I'm going to change mine to 15. Now I can hold shift and draw this will make a perfect square now i don't want it to, to be too big or too small so this will be the low detail check mark box so this thing is huge right now so what i'm going to do is and i'm going to bring it down to about this size and put it right there next go to text make the fill brightness zero aka black and write low then press enter detail next what you want to do is you want to click away and position it above the black box and now we have a low detail check mark. We're not done yet. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on this, go to duplicate, click on this line, change the outline, I'd say to maybe an orange. Usually I just pick something like that and then change the outline to five. Hold shift to draw a perfect line like this. Then what I want to do is select it by going to my pointer tool, pressing on it. And what I can do from here is rotate it to make sort of like a check mark so I can make it bigger by stretching it like this. I can adjust the size by moving like this. And if you think this check mark line is too skinny, you can just go back to your line tool. All your settings will be saved. You can just change it to 15 or something like I will. And then what you want to do is just do the same thing. Pointer tool, drag this in here. Make sure to make it a good enough size. You want to actually make a check mark here. So the next thing you actually need to do just go back to the line tool, hold shift again, and if you actually start 
off of the other line, you can actually make something like this. Now that check mark is out of the box, so what you can do is you can make it smaller, you can uh, shrink it or squish it, and then what you can do is you can click the check mark again, and then you can stretch it upwards a little bit, however you want to do it. For example, I like that. So now we have costumes one and two. Next thing you want to do is click on code, go to events, one the sprite click, looks, next costume. Next thing you want to do is go into events, one green flag clicked, variables set, change this to delete, change the zero to don't delete. Now what you want to do is drag it on the one green flag clicked, then motion, go to X, 198, Y, negative 27. Drag that on there. Finally, looks, switch cost into one. Now that is almost the last script. We have one more script until we're done. Next thing you want to do is go into events, one green flag clicked, control, forever, if else, put that in there, drag that on the one green flag clicked, go to operators, grab the equal sign, change the 50 to two, go to looks, go to costume number, if costume number equals two, then go to variables, set, change this to delete, to delete, drag that on the if. Next, what you wanna do is go to set, change this to delete again, and make this one this time called don't, don't delete. Drag that onto the else. So now we have a scratch clicker game. So for example, we have all the ones, if it's too laggy, click on low detail, and now all the ones will disappear and we won't have them anymore. Now let's say you're running into some problems where the ones don't disappear when you press low detail. Well, first thing you want to make sure is that all your spelling is correct. For example, don't delete is the same as this don't delete. This delete is the same as this delete. All your spelling should be correct. Uh, make sure everything's correct. For example, mine is, I'm not going to put in apostrophes or capitalized letters, but that's how mine is. Mine's working right now. And the final thing to get rid of this delete, click on this check mark in variables and that will be gone. Now, that is your final game. So, here it is, a scratch clicker game, or your first game. It's very nice, it looks very cool. You can show it off to everyone you know. I think they will really enjoy it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys later. Goodbye.